Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney and for today's video we are going to be doing an unboxing video and this is the monthly BoxyCharm subscription box unboxing and try on. I do have a special treat today. So normally the premium box and the base box never come at the same time. Usually the premium box is there way before the base box is but this time they were here together. So I actually can unbox both of them at the same time and try on all the products all at once. And I can also compare the two. So if you are wondering which one is better, the base or the premium for this month, then I can go ahead and let you know that, at least in my humble opinion. But if you're interested in seeing what I got in February's BoxyCharm base box and BoxyCharm premium box, then keep on watching. So we have the base box here and the premium box and they are giant for this month. So this is the base box and it's still pretty big. And then we have the premium box, which is just even bigger. So I'm gonna set these to the side. We're gonna go ahead and unbox both of these boxes and then I'm gonna get to the try on portion. So I will be leaving timestamps in the description box below. So if you are curious about a particular box, you can go ahead and check it out. We're gonna start with the base box for this month and it is a heavy one. This month we have the BoxyCharm XOXO theme. Very glittery, very cute. It's very my aesthetic, very Valentine's Day, loving it. So here is the variation number if you are curious. So yeah, all of them seem to look like this now. I'm gonna put this to the side and we're just gonna dive right in. So the first item in here is from St. Lux, which I feel like we've gotten a product from them before. I believe it was a lip liner and gloss. Here it is. This is the St. Lux Limited Edition Liner Duo. So we do get two different shades in here. So we get more of a brownie nude and then more of like a darker reddish brown so these are really nice shades i feel like they will work for a lot of different skin tones i'm gonna swatch them on the back of my hand they are they do have a nice fine tip on them but it's not the softest lip liner ever but maybe it just needs to be warmed up before you use it so here are the two shades and see one of them is more of like a reddish pinky brown and then the other one is more of a neutral brown toned shade and I don't know, they're not the most creamy, but I definitely will know more when I try them on. Okay, so this retails for $40. Okay, it says it's a new launch, which is nice to see in a BoxyCharm, but $40 for two lip liners is kind of crazy. I get mine from NYX at the drugstore and they're like less than $10. They're like five-ish, six maybe. They're And you can get them on sale too. So I'm not sure if I uh, agree with that kind of a price tag because I don't know anything about the brand, but it's nice to see a new launch in here. So we're just gonna move on. Next up in here, we have an eyeshadow palette. So this is from Ace Beauté. This is the Nostalgia palette. And I love the Hawaiian kind of feel. It is February and we just had an ice storm. So I'm not sure if I'm feeling the summer vibes, but I am kind of longing for some warmer weather. So. Maybe this will kind of manifest that a little bit. I will say I love this green color. That's one of my favorite colors is this like deep foresty green. Uh, but this is the cover of the palette, matches the unit carton. <gasps> wow, this is really summery. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun to make a look with this today. Although we do have some pinks and some purples, so I could do a Valentine's Day kind of look today. If we wanted to go with that theme. Uh, there is a little bit of an indent in this shade here. I'm not sure what that is if it's supposed to be there or not but otherwise it looks good nothing came broken that's always nice to see but i do actually like the color story i love this little pop of turquoise in here and you got your little sunset eye vibes going and you have your pinks and purples to work with so i think this is actually a perfect summer palette as far as the formula goes, I have had one Ace Beauté palette before and it wasn't my favorite, but I also didn't get a lot of use out of it either. So I think I tried it once. So I'm gonna tr definitely try this one again and see how it is. The shimmers in here feel really nice. Um, they're a little bit on the chunkier side, but they're very, very pigmented. Ooh, the yellow one's a little bit on the dry side, but they are very pigmented and hopefully they will look really nice on the eyes. They kind of, they swatch better than they feel on the finger. <sighs> but they are a little bit chunky, uh, but they look really beautiful. So I'm definitely interested to try that out. <sighs> Ooh, it is a little chunky. 
like it's flaking off. So you see those little spots? I am not sure what that's about. Okay, um, moving on. But let's, what do the mats feel like? The mats are really soft. So that's nice. I have a feeling that I'm gonna like the mattes in this palette more than the shimmers. Yeah, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but it's interesting. I like the color story. I'm glad to have it in a box, but yeah, I'm interested to try it out. Let's see what this retails for. $38.99, that's very specific. Why couldn't they just say $39? I don't know. So yeah, that's a little bit on the expensive side for this, but I'm not sure really where you would get this palette like that sounds like more of a sephora kind of price tag and i'm not sure if it's sephora quality but of course we're gonna have to check <sighs> the metallic keeps flaking off what is that do you see that look at that okay mm, you might need a glitter glue every time i move my hand the metallics flake off and i haven't even brushed it up against anything i do not like that whatsoever because I don't normally wear glitter glue with a shimmer shade. Like, unless it's an actual glitter, I usually don't need to wear glitter glue, but I will give it a shot potentially if there's no other eyeshadow palettes in here, because if there's another eyeshadow palette, I might use that, um, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, next up we have, ooh, okay. So here's another makeup item. We get too much skincare in BoxyCharm, it's crazy. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's just eh, and it gets wasted or I have to give it away to a friend. There's just no way one person can use all of it. So I like seeing some makeup items in here. So this is from Wander Beauty, and this is the double date lip and cheek uh, little duo here. And that's interesting, lip and cheek. So I guess it's kind of like a cream or a balm. Here is the Wander Beauty lip and cheek duo. So it looks like it has a tinted kind of balm on the top that you can use as a cheek stain or a lip stain, and then underneath it it has a clear balm i'm not sure that you would use this clear balm on your cheeks I'm not sure what you would use that for really but i would think that you could just use the top one to add a little bit of color to your lips and then use the clear balm on top and then for your cheeks you'd use this one so i definitely will give that a try i like the compact i kind of like that concept it's something very unique and different that we don't usually get in a uh, boxy charm so i am interested to try this out so and cream blushes are very in right now. Um, I'm not a huge cream blush person just because I haven't found one that really, really works for me other than a f I have a few that work, but it's like they're not overly pigmented. They're very like natural makeup day and I'm not a natural makeup day kind of girl usually. So, but this retails for $22. So that's kind of nice. I mean, it's a lip, it's two products in one, so technically $11 each. Would I pay $11 for just a cheek stain? I don't know, but we'll have to try it and we'll see. Now, next up in the box, we have a skincare item. So this is a Real Complexion Hyaluron Skin Essence, five in one. Let's see, it has moisturizing, skin glowing, skin boosting, balancing, softening. Um, okay, so it supposedly has some good ingredients in here. I can try this. I just have so much skincare. It's insane and I never use it all because no one person can use all of it. So this kind of reminds me of the uh, e.l.f. water essence that I got for free, but this is just obviously different brand, probably more expensive. Some more better ingredients in here. I'm not sure. Uh, this is the bottle. I love the blush pink cap. Very cute. I'll give it a shot, but I know hyaluronic acid, you kind of need some water involved. Hopefully this has enough water in it that it won't actually dry out your skin, but I'll definitely give this a shot. Not today, obviously, because there's nothing you're really gonna tell from me putting it on right now. But I will definitely let y'all know what I think about it later. That retails for $46, which is pretty expensive. So it's developed by the inventors of K-Beauty's first BB cream. This helps you achieve glass skin. Oh, wow. It says a powerful moisturizer capable of holding up to a thousand times its weight in water. Okay. <laughs> I'll definitely have to try that because I'm a dry gal. I'm a dry skin gal. I will need that hydration. I don't want to try it on under makeup because I'm not sure what it's going to do to it yet. I want to use it as a skincare item. 
All right, next up we have the Tula Skincare So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. We've had a bunch of products from Tula before. Um, I've liked them, but it's like, you know, I don't need that much skincare. But I do have a lot of blackheads around my nose, so I'll be willing to try that. <laughs> uh, this is the bottle, it's very cute. I love the blue. Um, I can definitely see myself using this just in the T-zone area because that's mostly where I get blackheads. I just need to make sure that it's not gonna dry my skin out. Ooh, it powered by pink salt, volcanic sand and witch hazel. This deeply exfoliating scrub helps purify pores and minimize the look of blackheads. Okay, I will definitely try this out. Hopefully it doesn't dry out my skin, but I'll do a mini review of that later so we can find out how that works. Uh, that is all of the products in the base box. The Tula Skincare retails for $32, which is fine if it works. It's still a little bit on the expensive side for how much you get, in my personal opinion. If it works, it works, and it'll be worth the price. That was everything in the base box, so we're gonna move on to unboxing the BoxyCharm Premium for this month. All right, so next up is the big boy, the BoxyCharm Premium. Oh. Here is the BoxyCharm Premium card, and it's the same theme as the base box, so it's the BoxyCharm XOXO, perfect for Valentine's Day. Here is the variation number for the Premium box, just in case you're curious. Okay, so I see some good brands in here. I'm very excited. So we did have a choice item, and I do obviously know what that one was, but we have some really nice brands in here. So I'm gonna start with the skincare. Why do we get so much skincare, BoxyCharm? Please tell me. We filled out those quizzes and I put like, please no skincare, please. We have enough. Uh, but I wish they would just do more makeup, honestly, cause it's a makeup subscription box. I know it's a skincare too, but like, I feel like I wish they just had a makeup only and a skincare only so that people who want skincare can get skincare and people who want makeup can get makeup. Cause how do we use all of this? I don't, I don't understand. Skincare takes so long to get through. Let me just get off that real quick. First up is a skincare item. This is from Love Script, and this is Lauren Francis. I don't know if that's the brand. I'm not sure. Um, but this is the Decollete and Neck Cream. Fancy, fancy. Um, I don't actually have anything specifically for my neck and Decollete, so I guess I'll try that. It's a luscious and hydrating restorative treatment designed to rejuvenate and refresh the delicate skin of your jawline, neck, and decollete. So, okay, I will give it a shot. I, since I don't have anything that really is made for that, it's important because that will show your age faster, uh, this skin, because it is thinner. So I'm interested in it. Here's the bottle, really cute. I like the packaging of it. It says, your body is a temple, cherish it. I like that. Let's see if it smells good. It smells like a cream, just like any kind of moisturizer. Um, very basic kind of smell, which is good. So it doesn't, shouldn't have a lot of fragrance in it. The Love Script Decollete and Neck Cream Leave-On Mask retails for $58. It has white truffle and black currant bud extracts in here. Ooh, that's fancy. Not sure what that does to your skin, but I'm interested. So the other products that I got that were skincare are sealed. I just wanna keep them sealed until I open them just because that will prolong the life of the product, but this one was not sealed, so that's why I smelled it. Moving on. So we just got a micellar water in BoxyCharm last month. So I'm kind of disappointed that we got another one because like really how many do you need? And I didn't really like that other one. Didn't really make my skin feel that great, but this one is heavy like glass glass bottle very pretty if it works that would be wonderful uh this is the odessite blue aura turmeric and holy basil cleansing water what does that smell like what is holy basil is that just the kind of basil or is it like blessed i don't know it does have a scent to it. It's kind of citrusy. So it's vegan, nature science, always GMO free and dermatologically tested. Uh, it's no rinse, so you can just leave it on. You don't have to rinse it off. And it's a quick, refreshing and effective clean. Holy basil and turmeric are infused in aloe vera juice paired with salicylic acid and grapefruit. That's it, grapefruit. That's the citrus I'm smelling. To sweep away dirt, makeup and pollution in one easy step. All right. I love the bottle. I love how luxe it feels. 
So I'm actually very interested to try this out. Uh, the other one that I have, I might just toss just because it does not react with my skin well, but this one will replace that. So I am very excited to try it out. Audacity Blue Aura Cleansing Water retails for $39. It's an expensive AF cleansing water, but the other one was way more expensive. So this one takes the cake for that. So far, we'll see if it goes with my skin better than the other one. Skincare, you know, it's not too, too exciting for me, but it is what it is. All right, next up, we have a Bali Balm. This is a Bali Balm, Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. I've heard of a lot of people getting this in past boxes. I don't think I've gotten it yet. No, I definitely haven't. The tube is really cute. I love the green and the orange together. I love the scent of orange. I'm just, I know a scent, if it has essential oils in it, I might not like it because sometimes my skin doesn't really love essential oils. It does contain nut oil. So if you have an allergy to nuts, please be careful. Read the back, make sure you can actually use it. Be friendly. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, the scent though is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and try this on right now because I have it open. <laughs> It's a thick kind of white, uh, white balm. I dig it. I like the orange and coconut together. It smells so, so good. I like it. All right, I'm happy with that. How much does that retail for? $33 for this little guy? Oh my God, <laughs> that's an expensive balm. Oh, it does say essential oils in here, okay. So we'll see if my skin enjoys that. It is smoothing, so I like that. I like the way it smells, I like the way it feels, but that's an expensive lip balm. I usually, I usually use uh, lip glosses to hydrate my lips, so, and all of them are cheaper than this, but it's okay to come in the box, I'm okay with it. I don't know if I would repurchase it at full price. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, now we are getting to the makeup. So, so far we've had three skincare items and then three makeup items are coming. So first up we have the Tardis Double Eyeliner, Double Take, oh, Double Take Eyeliner. So I guess it has an ink side and a like cream, not cream, what is it called? Like a coal liner? Yeah, it says it's made especially for BoxyCharm, so I'm not sure if the formula is different or not. I know that they have a product that's similar to this in store, but we'll definitely test it out. So this is what it looks like. I love the packaging. So this is the Old liner side and it is in black. And then we have a, like a brush felt tip on the other side. So let's try it on the hand, see if it bleeds. We have a little bit of bleeding folks. Just a little bit. The liquid side is definitely a lot more matte or a lot more black than the uh, pencil liner. The other one is a little bit more ashy, like almost gray. This one, I don't know if you could see that pretty well. There's a little bit of bleeding going on, nothing insane. This retails for $24, so it does say only for charmers, so I'm not sure if that's available on the Tarte website or at Ulta or anything, uh, but it is what it is, I guess. But it's kind of nice getting something for only charmers. I just hope that the formula is equally as good as the ones that are available on their website. So that's that. Definitely we'll give that a shot. Next up we have, this is the choice item that obviously I chose. So this is from Laura Mercier and this is the Matte Radiance Bake pa Baked Powder in shade 01, which is highlight. I'm not sure why this says a matte radiance powder. I think that's some weird marketing. It kind of, you're like, what is it? Is it a finishing powder? Is it a setting powder? Is it a highlighter? What is it? I've kind, I've kind of heard that it's more of a highlighter, so that's how I'm gonna use it. How oh, cute is that packaging? It's so sophisticated and clean. I really do enjoy it. Here she is, beautiful. It's got that kind of baked dome thing going. This looks beautiful. All right, so definitely looks luminous. Ooh, it's got this like natural glow to it. The, the camera doesn't even want to pick it up. Come on, come on. There it is. So the camera is having trouble picking it up, but it's kind of a soft, luminous look. It's not gonna be your like space beaming highlight, 
but Laura Mercier is known for their sophisticated looks, so I'm okay with that. And for a lot of days, I don't need a white line of a highlighter, especially if I'm just going out and running errands and stuff, so I always love a highlighter. I'm definitely interested to see if it can be built up though, so we'll be trying that out. The retail price for this matte radiance baked powder is $44. So that is expensive, but Laura Mercier is an expensive brand. It's kind of, it is what it is, but I'm so excited about that. So far, that's what I'm most excited for in the box. Last up, we do have another eyeshadow palette, and this one I'm very excited about. This is the Pastels Mint from Huda Beauty. I am so excited to receive Huda Beauty palettes in BoxyCharm. I love Huda Beauty's shimmer formula. The mattes are good too, but the shimmers are just so pretty. Look at these, oh my God. These marbled shades, I cannot wait to dive in and see what that actually looks like on the eyes. So you get four matte shades and five shimmers. I think that's a really good mix for this palette. You can go more neutral with this shade here and these shimmers here, or you can go more mint with it. You can go light pastel and you can deepen it up with this shade. You can go more blue or you can go more green. I love the versatility of this color story. I am so much more excited now that I'm seeing it in person. Online, it looked a little bit on the light side, which it's still pastel, but in person, this looks amazing. I am so excited to dive into this. Sorry if the camera angle is a little different. My dog accidentally ran into the phone, the camera stand again. <laughs> kind of shifted a little bit, so I had to fix it. But, oh my God, I'm so excited to get this on my eyes. I think today I'm gonna work with this palette instead of the Ace Beauté one, just because those shimmers in the Ace Beauté one really freaked me out. I do not like how it was flaking off. I feel like that is going to go into my eye and hurt me. I don't know if that's an irrational fear, but I do not like when shadows flake like that in big chunks. It just does not sit well with me. Um, I will eventually try it out and let you know how it works, but now that we have another eyeshadow palette in here, I'm definitely gonna use this one for today. So as you can see, these aren't like super crazy pigmented. They're kind of a transparent base almost with a glitter in there. I personally like that kind of formula, but it's not for everyone, but I am loving that. I'm excited to have it in my collection. I have a bunch of these and I really enjoy them and it makes me want to get more of them. I like how compact they are. I like the color story. I'm here for it. So before I ramble too, too much, let's go ahead and get into the try on portion and test all these products out. We don't have any complexion products in these boxes, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation, primer, concealer, and I'm not gonna set it though, because we do have a cream a product to apply, but I will be right back. All right, we are back and my hair is up. <laughs> and foundation and eyebrows are done. So the product that we're gonna try first is from Wander Beauty. This is the uh, duo the Double Date Lip and Cheek Duo, and it has the tint on top, and then it has a clear balm on the bottom, which honestly, my lips are in desperate need of some hydration as well. This kind of brush is probably the closest thing that I have to something that can apply cream cheek product. Maybe I just need to get a new brush or something, like a stippling brush. Maybe that's why I'm not really loving cheek products, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I did not powder my face, so I wanted to do this before I powder. So I'm gonna dive into the cheek tint. And honestly, it is picking up pretty nicely on there. Ooh, okay, yeah, it's pigmented. So I'm trying it on the back of my hand just to get some of that excess off. Ooh, that's cute. Huh. I was afraid it was gonna take off my foundation a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. It's a very nice, like, light pink. It's not gonna be a super bold blush, I don't think. I mean, we could probably build it up a little bit more, but I like it. It's kind of a, a nice natural flush color, at least on me. But I think it would work on a lot of shades because it could lean a little bit more peachy depending on how much you build it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and I added it to the other side as well. I still can't help feeling like this one, this is more this is darker than this side. I don't know if it's just the lighting in here or if that's actually how it is, but I keep trying to build it up and it just never seems to match. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. And now I'm going to take that same cheek tint and I'm gonna go in with my finger this time. 
because I want to see how it works with your finger. Interesting color. <laughs> So it's a little bit too light, I think, for a color on my lips. I think I like it better as a blush, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little light for me, which is kind of funny. Uh, but I'm gonna try the clear balm now with a clean finger. Yeah, I mean, for like a natural makeup day, it kind of works. The blush, I actually, I like it better as a blush, to be honest, so. There we go. Uh, you can build it up to be more pigmented than this, but I think this is pigmented enough for now. So I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna go ahead and add some bronzer and then we will be back. So the blush and bronzer is now done. I didn't do too much bronzer just because the main focus is the blush. I wanna kinda keep it light and pink today. Um, I will say the longer that this sits on my lips, I'm not as much of a fan of it. Um, I'll have to try and see, maybe I need to exfoliate my lips before using this uh, duo on my lips. But if you can see while I'm up close, it kind of like mixes with any concealer that was on my lips and it's actually kind of drying, which I'm not a fan of. And I did use the, the clear balm and the tinted one on my lips. Maybe the clear one's better, I don't know. So far, I'm liking the pink just for the cheeks. Let's dive in to the next product for the face and that is the Laura Mercier Highlight. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder in 01 Highlight. So we're gonna go ahead and use this as a highlighter. I know it says it's a matte radiance powder, but it's a highlight. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, look at that. It's It's gotta be a highlight. It's so shiny. It's too shiny not to be. So I'm going to take my highlighter brush and I'm gonna go into it. I'm just gonna swirl around. Oop, it is very powdery. Ooh, I know it's powder, but dang, okay. Ooh, okay, okay, I like that. <laughs> uh, it's very powdery, obviously, so don't dig into the pan too, too hard, but I like that. That is a beautiful, subtle highlight. You can build it up to be a little bit more impactful, but I actually like it as this sophisticated highlight that's happening here because you don't always need to be beaming every day, but I, I can't go a day without any highlighter. So this is perfect for those days where I just want a very soft glow. It definitely looks like my skin is glowing, which I love. Oh yeah, that looks so pretty. I think this is gonna be my everyday highlighter. <laughs> I really like this. Usually my go-to if I want a blinding highlight that still looks like it's wet on the skin. I'll usually go for the Natasha Denona Super Glow in Fair. This one is very similar to that and almost looks even more natural on the skin. I think if you have textured skin, you will love this. It really doesn't highlight any texture and it just gives the skin a really beautiful glow. Now my lips are going crazy right now, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of the balm on, uh, the Bali Balm, the orange coconut one. I already kind of tried this on. All right, so we are back and we are gonna go ahead and dive in with some eyeshadow. So as I said before, I have two eyeshadow palettes to choose from. We have the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette, which is really pretty, kind of summery on the inside though. Uh, I do like the color scheme, but when I swatched these shimmers, they were acting really funky. So I think I'm gonna go with the other palette. Um, this one is more pastel and wintry. It's very snowy still outside, so I'm feeling this vibe a little bit more. This is the Huda Beauty Pastels Mint Palette, and it is such a cute little palette. I love the color story on the inside, and I'm just so excited to dive into this, honestly. <laughs> this is from the Premium Box. Beautiful colors, beautiful shimmers, ready to put this on my eyes. So I'm gonna start out with the darkest matte in here and I'm gonna take a liner brush. This is actually a lavish brow groomer brush, but one side is an angled brush and the other side is a spoolie. I'm just gonna take that angled brush and I am going to coat the end of the angled brush with that matte shade. And I'm just gonna act like I'm putting on eyeliner.
I will sharpen the wing in just a little bit, but I'm gonna make sure that this gets all the way over my lash line. I think that looks really, really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the other eye match and I'll be right back. All right, so now we have the liner done. I'm actually gonna take that same shade and I'm gonna go on the lower lash line just to kind of connect it a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm just gonna kinda go until I can't extend it anymore with the powder. Next, I'm going to take the minty blue shade. Do I wanna go mint or blue? Hmm. You know, I might do a little bit bluer today. So I'm gonna actually go into the light blue with this brush. This is a crown brush. I forget which set we got this in, but I think it was a boxy charm. Just can't remember if it was a base box or not. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly blend it out a little bit. That looks good. So I just wanted to make it a little bit softer, not as harsh. And so now I'm gonna go into this swirly blue shade. So gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. And I'm going to put that right on the lid and I'm just going to extend that all the way across my lid. See how you can kind of still see the liner underneath it? It's just not as crazy. Oh, I really like how that looks. More of that light blue matte just at the end and trying not to get rid of that line I just made. So that's why I'm using a smaller fluffy brush. Just trying to focus a little bit more of that light blue towards the outer corner. So I think I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it at that. So this is the eye look. I think it's really nice and pretty and very wintry. I do like a fake liner sometimes. Uh, usually I don't apply actual eyeliner, but I wanted to do this especially because I actually have a black eyeliner to work with. So I'm gonna actually add the black just under that dark blue. So I'm going to test out the TARDIS double take liner and I'm going to try out both ends. So I'm going to try the felt tip first. That actually does make a nice sharp liner, right? So I kind of mimicked that same line. And so now I'm going to try to match this side to this side and I'll be right back. All right, this is why I hate eyeliner. It started out as this beautiful, beautiful wing that was very, very light and airy. And then I messed up on the other eye and had to make it even. This is why I don't like eyeliner. I don't wear it ever because of this. <laughs> because I'll do one eye perfectly and usually it's this eye because this is my dominant hand and I am able to do it with more control. And then when I get over to this side, mm, it is what it is, I guess. But mm, do I wanna try, yeah, I'm gonna try this coal liner. So I am just gonna do the outer corner this is it. <laughs> I was going to try to do a little something something different for y'all today. Not just my normal go-to eye look with the darker outer corner and lighter inner corner. But since we had the liner, it kind of threw it for a loop. So I still like the look that I got. It's just similar to the other looks that I've been doing. So I apologize for that. But I think it's still really beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some uh, mascara and I'll be right back. I'm back again <laughs> with the mascara. The eye, the eye look really does come together. I do like eyeliner, but it's just not my go-to. I just feel like it's so harsh. I like the softer color. I do think there is a time and place for it, which, you know, I can get, I can get into it a little bit, but I would actually prefer this look without the eyeliner personally, just because I would want to build up that color and just have that be the main focus and not as much focus on the sharp wing that I can't seem to do right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that might just be because I'm bitter that I can't do eyeliner very well. <laughs> um, but as far as the eye look goes, I think it's beautiful. I, I would do this look again. Now we are going to do lips and Sadly, the colors in here don't really go with this eye look too much. So I'm just gonna go with my gut and I'm gonna go with the more pinky toned one just because both of them are very brown leaning. So might as well go with the one that I like more. It's very, very hard. I'm trying to warm it up on the back of my hand and it's scratching me. <laughs> mm. All right. so. I'm taking shade Love Letter uh, and I'm gonna go all the way around. It's actually applying better than I would have thought. 
on my hand it was not going as well it's a lot creamier on the lips the shade is pretty all right I actually do like the color of this is it my favorite formula of a lip liner? No, it's not very creamy. Uh, it does apply to the lips better than I thought it would though, but it's still just, it kind of tugs a little bit, which I'm not a fan of. I do really like the color. The color is growing on me a little bit. It's definitely more of like a pinky nude, which is something that I would go for. The other shade is Secret Admirer and it's more brown toned. Um, I didn't think that that brown tone would go with this look on me personally, so. I think this is the look. All right, so here is the final look. What do you think? I think it's really, really beautiful. So this is the final look with both boxes, so the base box and the premium box. Overall, I'm very happy with the contents of the box. I definitely think that the premium box won. So I will pop up the grand total of both boxes right here so you can compare and see which one you prefer, but I think the premium box definitely won this month. Sometimes it, it it definitely is back and forth. Sometimes the base box is much better than the premium and then kind of vice versa. They, they kind of battle each other out. Uh, the premium box is $25 more than the base box, or is it 35? The premium is more than the base box, but, oh, it's an additional 35. So the base box is $25 a month and the premium box is $35 in addition to your base box subscription. That is everything. I hope you enjoyed watching this double unboxing and try on for the BoxyCharm, for the BoxyCharm boxes for February, the base and premium. Please let me know in the comments which one you preferred. What was your favorite product from these boxes? What would you like to see from BoxyCharm? Are they are they doing well? Are you excited about BoxyCharm or are they kind of slipping? Cause it kind of goes back and forth for me. This month was, a, this month was good, but sometimes no. <laughs> it just depends. I don't know. It depends on how they feel that day. But thank you for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know down in the comments what other videos you'd like to see from me. If you'd like me to re review something specifically, let me know down in the comments as well. I am open to suggestions and I am here to film some stuff that you'd like to watch. So I will also leave my makeup unboxing playlist up in the cards as well as a description box below so you can go watch some more unboxing videos if you'd like. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for clicking. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are. This is the final look for today and I'm really liking it. So that is all and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.